Welcome back to Money Matters. Once again, we are here at the Barbados Stock Exchange talking to Mr. Marlon Yard, the Managing Director of the Exchange. All right, before we were talking, we were, we were talking about the companies listed on the exchange. Now, I know there are a number of options that companies have in order to raise funds. So they can do debt, they can raise a bond, or they can list publicly. Now, what are some of the benefits to being listed, becoming a public company, becoming listed on the exchange rather than seeking financing through some other means? Well, I should give you a little history uh, about the ISM and how it came about. Um, it's part of our strategic direction of the Barbados Stock Exchange. In addition to wanting to um, take care or, or service our local market, we saw an opportunity in, in, in servicing the international market here in Barbados. As, as you know, Barbados has a vibrant international and business financial services center. And we said one of the ways for us to, to truly grow as an institution is for us to broaden our horizons as it relates to so not only looking locally, but looking internationally. So right away, we, we said, well, how can we do that? And, and we, we said we have the, the ingredients right here in Barbados in the form of the International Business and Financial Service Center and, have the ability, and, and we have the ability through what we already through what already exists at the stock exchange to leverage what we have into, in, into the international arena. So we developed um, our international securities market. Now this particular market has been in the making for, for a while. We conceptualized it, we did a feasibility study um, of having this business here in Barbados. We developed a full um, strategic plan, business plan, budgets for it. And what part of the process included interfacing with the players in the marketplace, in the international business and financial services sector, the lawyers, the accountants, the service providers. We interacted with um, government, various government institution, uh, institutions. We interacted with our regulator. And we, we wanted to find out what would, would best suit us. We also did extensive research on what happens in other markets. We looked at other benchmark jurisdictions, for example, um, Bermuda, Cayman, Channel Islands, British Virgin Islands. We looked at all these jurisdictions to see what they did. And we developed a body of, of rules which are international best practice. We, and, did, and we were helped with developing the rules not only in consultation with persons in our local market, but we used international um, consultants to help us develop the, the, the body of rules for the international securities market. So the international securities market is quite simply a marketplace for the listing and trading of securities that would otherwise list on other jurisdictions around the world. Um, so we're, we, we want to take advantage of, of companies that are domiciled here um, for all the reasons companies, all the good reasons that companies come to Barbados uh, to do business besides the, 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 um, the number, the, number of double taxation agreements that we have with other jurisdictions. And we say, well, look, you are already operating here in Barbados um, to, 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 for investment purposes. Uh, why not use the Barbados Stock Exchange, use the international securities market to add that extra layer of substance to your operations? Now, you know, uh, uh, jurisdictions around the world um, which they, they uh, use the term offshore, are painted with a broad brush. Um, we, Barbados, is, is not a, a tax haven. Barbados is a low tax jurisdiction, and, and there's a clear distinction. And we are a jurisdiction that is well regulated. We have businesses, international businesses of substance here in Barbados, and the international securities market would, would just be that extra um, layer of, of of substance, the actual layer of, of to, to show that you are you are truly doing business here and not just setting up a, a name plate, so to speak. And being listed on an exchange gives that um, that that that, that, um, that substantive layer. And so when 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 you are dealing in Barbados, um, you you are dealing. When, when companies are dealing in Barbados, they're, they're dealing 
in a, in a jurisdiction of substance and they're doing real business here and not flow through business, so to yes. speak. Real business is done here. And, and, and we said, let us provide that marketplace, not only for, for companies to, 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 um, to, to raise capital, but also to, to show that true mind and management of the, of the business is operating here. Because once you are, um, once you're listed, true mind and management is here. Yeah. Uh, and true, substa uh, true substance is, is here. So that is, that is, we said let us create that opportunity for international businesses to take full advantage of what Barbados has to offer, offer through its double taxation agreements, through its um, bilateral agreements, through its tax information exchange agreements. Okay, so tell us exactly who can participate on this new exchange. Well, first what I should say is that the international securities market is, uh, is strictly for the international business and financial services sector. It is not for the local market. Um, listing and trading on the, international bit, on the international securities market is in hard currency. US dollars, Canadian dollars, mm -hmm. and um, you know, pound sterling, pound sterling, hard currencies. So it is strictly for the international business and financial services center. Now, if persons, locals want to get involved in that, they, the only way they can do that is through um, a, a registered international, a licensed international business, business corp corporation. But again, as I said, it's strictly for the, for the, for the international business and financial services center. Now, we have a body of rules that governs the, 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 the ISM, and as the, going, going to your question, how are you eligible to, be, to, be, to participate in that market? There, there, there are basically four types of participants in the, in the marketplace. There is the issuer issue, um, who lists securities, there's the trading participant who trades on behalf of persons investing in the particular market. Um, there is the um, listing sponsor, uh, and also, and, and I, will, I want to talk a bit about that. And then there is the clearing, clearing and settlement, clearing, clearing participant who clears um, the transactions. You know, settlement of transactions. Um, you know, persons who buy get the securities, persons who sell get get their their cash. So those are the four main participants. But the, the key participants is basically the issuers. Because you need uh, issues to, to, to list on this kind of thing, yes. and then the listing sponsors. And the listing sponsors have a, a pivotal role in that on the international securities market, you cannot list on the international securities market unless you have a listing sponsor. And the listing sponsor is similar to, um, for example, the on the London Stock Exchange, you have. Um, the, mar the A market, which is the, like a, the, a junior market of the of the of the London Stock Exchange, and they have some they have persons called nominated advisors or nomads, and these nomads basically go through a process of bringing companies to, to list on, on on the A market, and that's a similar thing for the international securities market. We have listing sponsors, similar to, for example, in in in, in our earlier um, uh, broadcast. We mentioned that on a junior market, junior you must market, have a sponsor. Yes, a, this is a very similar concept. As a matter of fact, it's the exact concept. Um, so you must have a listing sponsor to guide you through the process of being um, listed on the, in, on the international securities market. So that listing sponsor um, helps you to understand what the rules are helps you to understand what the, the regulations and the legislation that governs you are and guides you through that process. Now the listing sponsor is a, is a separate entity. Yeah. So example, uh, the, the persons who are ideal for, the, for, the, for this type of person, uh, this type of role is for example the uh, attorney, uh, law firms, accounting firms, accountants, lawyers, okay. um, service providers in the international securities business, trust managers. These are all persons who are ideal for this because they are accustomed to doing due diligence mm -hmm. on persons, on securities, on entities to make sure that they're fit and proper okay. um, to 
participating in, in, in a particular business. Right. And, that, and that is what we're doing. So listing sponsors are a great, it's a, it's a new business stream or new revenue stream for service providers in the international business and financial service sector. Serve, service sector. And what I should also say is that an issuer who is listed on the international securities market, they must have a listing sponsor throughout the, the, the life of their listing. You cannot remain listed on the international securities market unless you have a listing sponsor. Okay. And there are certain requirements um, for listing sponsors. Obviously, they have to be, and I keep using the word fit and proper. You just got to go to the rules and see what are these requirements okay. are. It can be a company, a corporation who uh, provide this service. Uh, and, and the listing sponsor makes sure that the issuers and its directors and management team understands the responsibility of being listed on the international securities market. Uh, we, use, we, we say that the listing sponsor gives fair and impartial information on, on what is required and, and it acts as a liaison between the Barbados Stock Exchange and the issuer. So the, 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 the listing sponsor has a, has a very important role in making sure that the, the issuer um, follows the rules and follows the regulatory requirements of being listed on the international securities market. So that's very important. Positive direction yields positive growth. Welcome back to Money Matters and we're here once again with Marlon Yard from the Barbados Stock Exchange, the Managing Director. Okay. okay. When we went to break the first time, you were, we were talking about those who can participate in the international securities market and we dealt with the issuers and we dealt with the sponsors. Now tell us a little bit more about the potential investors, the traders, etc. Okay. Well, the international securities market is primarily, primarily for the international business and financial service sector yes. here in Barbados and internationally. Now, one, there are a number of markets that we are focusing on as it is to developing the international securities market. And one of our key markets is that of the Canadian market. And we've been spending a great deal of time in the Canadian market as, in, in relation to developing the international securities market. And the main reason for that is that a lot of um, Canadian companies are already domiciled here in Barbados. We have a strong business relationship, a, a strong, a long history of doing business with the in the Canadian market. And we, we, we said we want, when we established our, our the ISM, our focus was on, on developing that particular market. A lot of a lot of Canadian companies use Barbados to set up IBCs, mm -hmm. and part and as part of that process, they structure transactions or, or they structure um, investment transactions to go to pass through Barbados to invest in other jurisdictions. For example, um, mining in Africa, yeah. mining in, in in Latin America. Um, business opportunities in China, and Hong Kong, um, and those particular jurisdictions. So we, we, we know that they're here and we, we want to take advantage of that opportunity. Okay. And also to, we have the Barbados, Barbados government has negotiated and, and settled about 27 double taxation agreements. Mm -hmm. so, it, it, so if you are say a Canadian or UK or a US company, you can take advantage of the many double taxation agreements that Barbados has in place um, to structure transactions, um, to take advantage of, of, of those of, of, the, of, of the tax efficiencies that can be garnered from using um, these DTAs um, here in Barbados. So outside of the service providers here, for example, we see this as a great opportunity for service providers to provide the service of listing sponsors. But we also see this as a great opportunity for issuers in other jurisdictions to set up in Barbados to, to, uh, and be tax efficient in the use of, of, the, of, of our agreements that we have here. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's how we see it working. And again, people, businesses do business in Barbados for a number of reasons. We can talk about all the 
the Barbadian advantage, advantages. Mm-hmm. Take for example, with Canada, our, our, our legislative framework is very much in line with Canada, but well, particularly the, the Ontario, um, the, the Ontario province. Um, our companies law, our securities law, and our various um, bankruptcy assets that is very much in line with the Canadian. So, uh, an attorney in Canada. When he looks at the, 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 the legislative or, or the laws here in Barbados, there's a comfort uh, because it's very familiar um, right. to them. Um, so that is the, the thing. And all the other reasons, you know, the fact that Barbados, um, we, we speak English, we're in basically the same time zone. Yeah. Um, it's a good place to, 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 to live and work. Um, we have a lot of international connections from uh, Barbados to London, um, Toronto, New York, Miami. Um, so it's ease of doing business. The fact that all, our infrastructure uh, works, roads, telecommunications, all these things work. We have a, a regulatory framework that um, is robust. Our regulator, the Financial Services Commission, um, it operates at international um, best practice. We have a judiciary that is independent. Uh, we have laws. The rule of law works in Barbados. Uh, we're not a, a back country. You know, rule of law is paramount, um, and we our our laws rep- um, respect uh, property rights in in Barbados. And if there's a dispute, um, the courts are there to settle disputes. So all these things um, all go all go well for Barbados as an international jurisdiction and the international securities market is is that missing pillar that supports um, the international business and financial services sector okay. and we see it as an opportunity to to bring in um, foreign exchange and create opportunity not only in the tourism sector because you know once people are doing business here they're going to be using our restaurants and our hotels um, but in the real estate arena and everywhere else. So or even though the Barbados Stock Exchange is going to benefit because we need it for continued survival to provide um, business for us in the form of listings and, and participants in the marketplace, at the end of the day the true beneficiaries um, for the international, of the international securities market is going to be the Barbados economy as a whole. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you know the, the professionals, the lawyers, the accountants. Um, it's, it's really going to add value to the jurisdiction as a whole. And we just want to play our small part in providing that platform mm-hmm. for um, to support the international business and financial services sector. Okay. Well, we actually touched on it before when we were discussing the participants and when you were giving the history of uh, the setup of the ISM. Um, but I give you a chance now to actually upsell to mm-hmm. potential <coughs> participants. So, so if you could list for us the advantages of the participants to the participants um, in, in terms of getting involved with the ISM, either as an issuer or, or, or a listing a sponsor. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, basically what you're asking me is what is my what is our competitive advantage? Correct. What is our competitive advantage? And, and 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 the thing is, there are two things when you look at competitive advantages: is the value that you're offering, and the price at which you are offering um, the service to, to the to the to persons who are using your service. Now, when you look at the value, the, Bar- the, the Barbados Stock Exchange insured, made sure, was adamant that when, when we developed the rules of the international securities market, um, that it was international best practice. We wanted to make sure that we continued to enhance Barbados, uh, the Barbados jurisdiction as a well-regulated jurisdiction that nobody can point their finger, finger at us and say that we allow anything, allow any and everything to happen on the international securities market of the Barbados Stock Exchange. So that is paramount for us. But what is also paramount is that the supporting services that are here. When you compare the cost of utilizing the services of, an, of attorneys or accountants, etc., or the service providers in our market, to that of other jurisdictions, say Bermuda, Cayman, etc., the cost is, is, is a lot greater than, 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 than in those jurisdictions than, than we have here. We might think 
are, 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 are professionals that are expensive, they are not expensive com compared to other jurisdictions. Okay. So that is, so you're getting good value as it relates to what we're offering here, because what we're offering is equal or even better than what is being offered in other jurisdictions, and you, the support around it is, 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 is equal and at a better price than, than, than what is out there in other jurisdictions. Okay. And from our perspective, the other key thing for us uh, from, a, from a value proposition is that the Barbados Stock Exchange ensured that when it looks, when it developed its fee structure for the international securities market, it was 30 to 50 percent in some instances better than that of other jurisdictions. So that was key for us, that we offered equal or better value and that the price that that value came at was, was far superior to that and, than other exchanges. Now we didn't price it so that we, we, we would not be in business. Yes. Because at any day we, we, we want to turn a dollar and make a profit uh, to give a reasonable return for our shareholders, but we wanted to make sure that we offered um, the service and, uh, and the product at an extremely competitive com competitive price to other um, players in the marketplace. Because the thing at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when you offer a service and somebody is taking that, using that service otherwise, you know, there has to be either a push factor mm -hmm. from that jurisdiction that pushes them away or pull factor um, that pulls them to, to, to your jurisdiction. And, and we wanted to add, add, we wanted to develop a value proposition that pulled the business to us. Okay. Um, offering everything else that Barbados offers, for example, ensuring that we operate at international best practices, that we ha have global standards, for example, the, international, the Barbados Stock Exchange is an affiliate member of the World Federation of Exchanges. So we have that, we're, we're under an umbrella body which uh, feeds us information about what is happening in other jurisdictions. Our depository, the Barbados Central Securities Depository, is a member of ATSA. This is the Association of Central Securities Depositories of the Americas. So we, we, we interact with these people so we know what is happening in other markets and we, and, and we bring the best uh, of those practices from other markets to our market, give, given the size of our market and, and where we're at in our own development, um, so, as to, so as to make our market um, attractive to, to, other, um, to other participants. And then we're always um, talking to our regulators uh, and, and government to say, well, look, these are things we need to look at to make our jurisdiction more attractive from, from a capital markets perspective uh, and how can we how can we do that for example uh, one of the things that I do personally is that I sit on the joint policy working group of the Ministry of International Business which focuses on, on international business and, and my primary reason there is to to, to, to help to, to help develop give advice and help develop policies and procedures that would make sure that Barbados remains competitive so that it enhances the, the, the chances and the opportunities for the international securities market to be part of that process. Okay. You had mentioned something before that had piqued my interest and I'm certain would pique the interest of many Barbadians who are currently watching the show and is when you spoke to the economic advantages uh, to the country mm. um, from embarking on, on this initiative in terms mm. of the setup of the, the ISM. Mm. Um, now that's something that I would like you to expand on. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, well, why, why everything that happens within the econ economy affects, affects it in some, in some way, either for the po for, in a positive way or in, an, or in a negative way. And I'm, I'm no economist by no stretch of the imagination. But I, I, I know that once we continue to enhance our product and offer something that is different uh, from what is already there, it would, somebody out there would say, well, look, maybe this can work work for me and the more people you know the more people that see this um, this advantage or this proposition that we are putting forward there and they bring their business here for that particular reason it creates more uh, it brings foreign foreign currency into the jurisdiction right. and it creates more work for people in in, in Barbados it creates more opportunities for our 
or graduates that are coming out of, of university. And the more, the more that people are working in the jurisdiction, it means more taxes are, 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 are being paid. And I, at the end of the day, we, we all benefit. So these little, the, the drip effect. You know, sometimes, sometimes we think we have to do something great and magnanimous to, to, to get things going. Sometimes it's everybody doing their little part to, to, for the whole. And we, we at the Stock Exchange, the Board of Directors, the management staff of the Stock Exchange truly believe that what we are doing is going gonna, is gonna to make a difference. So we go about it with verve and passion because we, we think at the end of the day it, it benefits all of us. It benefits you know, our, our children and everybody yeah. uh, going forward. It certainly seems as though it is a step in the right direction in terms of business facilitation here in Barbados. And that all of it is, is part of the process. You know, we, you know, all of us have to see that, you know, um, when we do things right, when we, op when we operate with excellence um, in, in whatever we're doing, it makes a difference. Um, sometimes we, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we think it, it, it doesn't, you know, but I, I am convinced in my own mind, you know, everything I do in a positive way affects affects the whole yeah. and if everybody does things in a negative way it it, it pulls it down and, and breaks it down okay. so that I'm, I'm not I mean this might be veering off of my topic of, I, of ISM but we have to see things holistically yeah uh, and I, I believe that the ISM and what we do here is going to make a difference um, going forward okay all right, we're going to take a short commercial break right now, and then we're going to be back with more Money Matters. Open other paths to progress. Welcome back to Money Matters. And once again, we are here discussing the international securities market with Marlon Yar from the Barbados Stock Exchange. Thank you. All right. Um, when we left, we were discussing all of the advantages uh, that the international securities market will be offering to Barbados and international business companies, etc. No. I know that on our normal market, the regular market we're all familiar with here in Barbados, uh, there's certain securities that trade on that market. It is, there's, of course, there's stocks and there's bonds, etc. Uh, what are the instruments that will be traded on this new exchange, the international securities market? The same types of investments. We, we're, we've started with the vanilla type um, investments, equities, um, bonds, fixed income, mutual funds. Um, for the mutual funds, it can be funds of funds, um, umbrella funds, feeder funds, those types of, of things. Uh, for the fixed income securities, um, corporate bonds, um, or com com corporate or commercial bonds, and sovereign bonds too as well. And equities, you know, the, the sky is the limit as it relates to, for example, um, regular common, common stock or, or, or preference shares. Or hybrid, or hybrids thereof of these of these securities. So that is what we've started started with. Mm -hmm. But as time goes on, and as the markets develop, and participants, for example, trading participants, issuers come to us with other types of securities that they wish to have listed on the international securities market. We will we will, as much as our rules would facilitate it, we will try to facilitate. And as much as the legislative framework can facilitate, we, we, will, we would also um, try to facilitate. So we're constantly um, looking at what is, is out there, what are the developments in, in the marketplace, um, but we wanted to get our market up and running. So we said, let's start with the vanilla, vanilla type products and, and go from there. Okay. All right. So now we know what instruments are going to be listed. Who can invest? Mm -hmm. Okay. The, 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 International, international business and financial service sector. So implicitly is the international um, international participants, mm -hmm. and these international par participants are, for the most part, sophisticated investors, persons who understand the markets and the, the risks and the benefits in the particular market. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, pension funds, mutual funds, so mutual funds could also invest, in, but would also invest in, in other types of securities. So it's mainly for the sophisticated investor 
and I think the terminology we use in our in our ISM rules is qualified investors. So there also there's there, there's a requirement that you obviously understand the business that you're in, uh, that you have the f financial wherewithal to participate in this market and be able to take on the, the risks involved in the market. Not that the business is risky business, but that you understand exactly what is going on. And as I mentioned before, the business is for the international business and financial service sector and is not for local participants. And the trading is being done in hard currencies uh, in the particular, in the, in, the, in, in the international securities market. Okay. Um, I have a question for you. I know that locally, if a company is issuing a new set of shares, uh, that's in a situation where those new shares have to be issued through the Financial Services Commission or, or rather. They have to be right? registered. They have to be registered to the Financial yes. Services Commission. And anything there's a new issue of shares, uh, there's a process that you go through with the FSC to get those shares um, brought to market. What is the process um, like on the ISM? This process is very similar. Okay. So if, if, if you want to list on the international securities market, those securities must be registered with the Financial Services Commission. So it's, it's the same exact process. From the, from the stock exchange perspective though, the person who is going to be doing, guiding the, the issuer through that process is the listing sponsor. Okay. And we will be working with the, the, um, the Financial Services Commission to assist. Now, one of the things that we've done to, to, to ensure that the process is, is a speedy process is that the board of the Barbados Stock Exchange has, de has delegated to the executive management team of the Barbados Stock Exchange the, the, the authority uh, to go through and, uh, and approve list, um, listings as, as per the, the listing rules and as per the requirements under the law. So that is, so we don't have to go to the board for approval. Obviously, okay. we would, um, we would let the board know um, when at the next board meeting, and it will be ratified by the board. But that to, to ensure speedy a speedy process, um, not sacrificing fairness and proper due diligence, um, management has been delegated that authority. Um, and we will be working with the, the Financial Services Commission um, to ensure um, that they are satisfied on their side as it relates to the requirements of the legislation. Also, too, to assist us in the process of um, having the, the, the listing, the, 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 the securities registered in a timely basis for listing, mm -hmm. is that we, we are working with the, the our regulators, the Financial Services Commission, oh. to develop a, an MOU where we can work in tandem right. um, to, okay. to, 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 to facilitate um, as, as quickly as possible uh, the, the, the listing of securities on the ISM, that, they, they meet, that the, the issuer meets the requirements um, of the issuer and meet the requirements of the, the stock exchange and we work together to facilitate that. Now, one of the key, key um, advantages other jurisdictions have uh, in the international business arena is the speed at which they get things done. Okay. So we don't want to disadvantage our market mm -hmm. or the international securities market by not um, being able to do things on a timely basis. Yes. Uh, but not, again, making sure we protect the integrity of the Barbados market by not um, not ensuring that all, is, all, all, the, all the T's are crossed and the, dies, the I's are dotted um, and, and that the person's entering the market is fit and proper. And again, it goes back to making sure that the listing sponsor does what they, they're supposed to do in vetting issuers for listing on the international securities market. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Marlon Yard. Thank you for being here with us one more time and discussing the Barbados Stock Exchange specifically for this episode, the international securities market. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the end of another episode of Money Matters. Once again, my name is Zandre Boyd, and we will see you next week. Ask questions until you thoroughly understand what you are investing in and provide all relevant information to assist your broker in giving you the best investment advice possible.